Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Youth Spotlight. And joining me is Jaden Broom, who has uh, just gone to the Pan Am Games for Barbados, the Junior Championships, of course, uh, and is a triple jumper. First of all, Jaden, thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, you're, you're very talented, and we're happy to get to know you a lot better after today. Thank you, no problem. So let, let's start with your BSAT performance. And you would have actually done three things. You would have triple jumped, you would have done the long jump, as well as thrown some javelin for your law school. Uh, first of all, how, how do you manage your body for, for three events which all require, uh, something, especially long jump and triple jump, would require the same body parts? Um, basically, between the triple jump and the long jump, there are different mechanics. So what we would do is after we finish one, the long jump comes first before the triple jump. Mm -hmm. I'd go to some physical therapy and get the body refreshed, stretch, cool down, and then prepare for the next day. Now, you would have done well especially in triple jump and long jump at BSAT, you would even brought the record for, uh, the, the zona record for the at BSAT and, and the long jump. What made you, what helped you to make this decision, be, be picking triple jump and, and going forward with that at events for Barbados? That event, that event's my uh, strong suit. That's where I got the best results. That's the event that I first qualified for with Grifter and I said, this is the event that can really carry me to the uh, bigger stages in the future. And. At BSA in the triple jump, fifteen point two three meters. How how was that for you in in terms of your expectations? Um, it was a little below my expectations. I was going to break the record, but I could say it was a standard performance. And then at the Louis Lynch Championships, you would have had a big jump in your books before uh, um the other events where you fourteen point eight one, and you disqualified for Carifta. Uh, when you found out that you were going to be able to represent your nation in the Cayman Islands, how was it for you? It was a great experience again because I had qualified last year and to be able to come and do it again this year was a really great achievement for me. And then in the Cayman Islands, what was the competition like? Uh, of course, when you went to the, to the Pan Am Games, it was obviously more significant. We'll talk about that. But just for Crypto being in a Caribbean uh, sort of suit, how was it? Uh, it was great because these are guys that I jumped with last year to come and jump again where we've all improved over a year. The competition was really fun. I really enjoyed jumping with my fellow partner, um, John, Jonathan Miller. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the result I wanted to at Krista, but it was still a great competition and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so we'll talk about that Krista uh, result a little later. But then, um, Jaden, a huge jump by your standards. Like, really, for me, it was one of your breakout jumps. We were following your progress closely to qualify for the Junior Championships, the Pan Am Games uh, in Costa Rica. And that is a really huge 15.6 uh, to your personal best. What do you think? helped you to achieve that what, what have you done different to maybe at Crifton and and preparing for that to, that would have helped you do something like that uh i basically went back to the drawing board with my coach and i said okay we didn't get the result we wanted at Crifton, but you know you're capable of much more and i made a mental change to myself to really try and push it a lot harder in training mm -hmm. so i can get the result at the next meet and you're you speak about your coach young the coach neil critchlow um how has he helped you develop uh, and, and how will you apply what he's told you for the future? He's really developed me. He really broke me down from when I first started to triple jump and he really built me back up. I'm still relatively green in track and field and there's still a lot of things I can work on. But he really helped me to bring me to the stage I am now. Now, let's talk about your regional performances at the Crafty Games, sixth place. Not where you would have liked, but uh, is that something where, where you can pull positives from and work from it? Yes, definitely. I could be uh, the sixth place at the uh, Crystal Games. It can show that I'm the sixth best jumper in the region. Mm -hmm. And I'm really taking it forward that I was one of the best jumpers in the Caribbean in the year 2019. That's what would be positive for me. Um, the negative would be that there are five other jumpers better than me. Mm -hmm. And then we go to the Pan Am Games, where you mean, I mean, you're competing against high level competition, people from all over the, the, the US, uh, all over the Caribbean. How was, how, first of all, getting there, how did you deal with the conditions in Costa Rica? Uh, the conditions were kind of tough. The air was a uh, high altitude, so the air was a little thin, but I relatively adjusted well after the first two days and I was able to come and compete at the best of my ability. And in terms of your result, obviously it's, it's a different level there mm -hmm. I, and you're still relatively young, but 10th place, uh, what did you take away? What was your biggest takeaway from, from the tournament and what do you think you learned? I learned that there's a bigger world other than the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, there are not many jumpers, but when you go to the America stages, um, you will find like Cuba, uh, the USA, the Brazil, all these have different jumpers, different jumping styles that I can really look up to and I can take away something and add to my own jumping style. Now, I want to talk about young Aaron Spencer, who is from Harrison College, and he also does the triple jump event. And I know the both of you would have done it for Barbados. How, has, how have you guys worked together uh, while traveling together and helped each other? 
uh, Aaron Spencer, Aaron Spencer, sorry, uh, he's a relatively good jumper, young and upcoming, and I definitely can say he'll be one of the better jumpers for the future of Barbados. Um, I've always told him he's t he has a tendency to get nervous and stuff, but I've always told him he has the ability to do the best that he can always. Stay calm and just jump and execute. And Jalen, now let's talk about the big news. I mean, a couple of days ago, I was, I was scrolling through my social media and I saw a picture of you smiling with a contract. Actually, for the University of Houston, you received the scholarship. Now, first, when you got this call that and you, you realized that there was interest in you, how, how was it for you? To, because to get a scholarship at a university like that uh, is really a big deal. It was really great, exciting news for me. I was really happy that uh, a university like Houston was really interested in me. And they said, I could be one of the better jumpers in the next four years, quali probably qualifying for the Olympics on world stage. And Tristan Gibbons, actually from Barbados, is also at Houston. And we have the likes of Jonathan Jones, uh, so many other athletes in America, and who have, oh, and Zion Hill as well, uh, in North Texas. So, so many other athletes in, 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 around you. How will you really filter from them and learn from them to, to help you develop as a, as a young athlete? Uh, I've talked to them mostly every couple of weeks, and they've really been filling me in on what's the experience like in college. And of course, I know they'll be looking after me when I get out of it because we be agents stick together. I will always help each other through the future stages of our lives. No, Jaden, I've asked all the athletes and, and young up and coming people this. I'm scrolling through my newspaper, I'm, I'm scrolling through my Instagram. What can I expect from Jaden Broom in five years when I open the newspaper? Definitely in five years, you have to be seeing me at the Olympic Games. That's my biggest goal, and that's the achievement I'm going to get. And what do you think you have to do uh, in the next couple of years at maybe university, even when you come back to Barbados, to achieve this big feat of going to the Olympics game? One thing for sure, I have to double down twice as hard as my training and also academically. I have to keep both the standards up to be able to get to that stage. And what's the ceiling for Jalen Broome? How far do you think you want to go? I mean, how many Olympics or, or, or which Olympics in 2020, 2024? The sky's the limit. As much as I can, as much as the body allows me and the mind allows me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Youth Spotlight with Jaden Broome, the talented triple jumper. Thanks for watching.